it's final night. There's a red hot atmosphere inside the lakeside. And when Simon Whitlock and Mark Webster come out to throw for the title, the crowd will give them a fantastic reception. The final gets going very, very shortly. But just before that, we have five former lakeside champions here this evening. Let's say good evening to them. He's the reigning lakeside champion for a few more hours, Martin Adams. Welcome the 2002 Lakeside Champion, Tony David. The champion in 2001, John Walton. In 2000, the winner of this great tournament, Ted Hankey. And ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted the champion from 2004 is on the road to recovery and he's here. It's the Viking, Andy Fordham. That's five finalists from this decade. Here's how tonight's finalists gave themselves the chance to follow in those famous footsteps.
This is Lakeside 2008 Men's Final. So, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, let's play golf. Will you please welcome the pride of Wales, Mark Webster. Yeah, the, the joint is jumping here. We have had to stand, Ray. And I'm sure we're in for some great excitement here, don't you, David? Absolutely. Best standing point in the house. We can't even call it a seat tonight. And I hope that our coverage tonight will give you the best seat in the house as well from what I think will be a cracking final. Simon Webster at uh, Whitlock, Mark Webster, two guys, Tony, I think have been the best overall players we've had here this week. Yeah, we've got the world number one and certainly the best Australian, so you can't ask for better than that. 
I've already gone for Mark Webster well before this, right at the beginning. And I think uh, we're in battle here, aren't we? Absolutely. Mark Webster there, throwing his darts up on the stage. Practice darts for him and for Simon Whitlock, who's come the longest way of all to take part here, all the way from Queensland, up against a man bidding to become the third Welsh world champion we've had since 1978. And I think Leighton Rees will look down and smile at this man's performance this week. Well, the handshake. First set, first leg, it's Simon to throw first. Very best of order, please. Game on! Rob Butler gets us underway in what is the 19th meeting between Wales and Australia. 43. First match was in 1978, the first of the championship, and that was Leighton Reese, Barry Atkinson. Leighton went on to win. 85. Well, I just hope that for all you watching and cheering on in Wales tonight, that uh, Mark Webster fares slightly better than some former Welsh contenders. Only two wins in seven World one Championship hundred. finals. But we've only ever had one Australian win this world title as well. So, history in the making. 57. And just to give you another little result, Wales a 12-6 up against Australia. But just to remind you, now we're in the final. Best of 80. 13 sets. The magic number is seven. Five legs is the format. 100. Just watch the finishing and the power of this man. He plays the board. He doesn't even know he's playing Mark Webster, I can tell you that. 94. Both settling down in these opening exchanges. Yeah, he had lunch this afternoon uh, with uh, Simon. Tony David. And there's Cynthia. That's Mark Web Webster's mother. 58. Mark will require Find out more about that lunch in a minute, Tony, but this for. The first leg, treble 20. Double top, start off with a Shanghai. Hey! hey. Yes, that's game shot. And the first leg, Mark Webster. Not a bad way to begin. A confident way. Second leg, is Mark to throw first. Game on. If he can play this uh, final at his own pace, Mark. 100. We'll see so much rhythm, natural ability he has. We've seen all that this week. 60. What a great audience we've had throughout. Send them out there. Perfect order. The families 140. are here. There's his father, Mark Webster. Yeah, Simon's got a few fans out there tonight as well. Mentioned the uh, pace, Simon. Pretty much throughout the week has stuck to his own pace, but did speed up at times against Brian Woods in the semi-final. 97. Yeah, Tony David, he wasn't here for the semi-final. He'd gone over to uh, the airport to meet uh, Natalie's sister, who lives in Ireland. Here we go. Yes, the first one. It's the first set. It's Simon Whitlock. But Mark Webster straight in, needs treble 18. Oh, what a left bullseye for a finish. Got the treble, though. Put the pressure on the throw here. Simon, you require 161. Well, he has his own way of going for 161. He'll go for treble 18 with this start. Maybe the ball. 100. He does use this board. Mark the require 32. He took the first leg. He's took the yeah, second he leg. Game shot on the second leg. Mark Webster. Fourth as clean as a whistle. Starting Third off the way he did against Simon Martin Adams first. in the semi final. Game on. 100. So 28 darts is all Mark Webster's thrown so far. 
to win those two legs, 15 darts and 13 darts. 16. How did Simon Whitlock appear to you this afternoon? Because he, to me, he's looked quite calm. Just carried on in the same as it throughout the week. He's such a quiet guy. 16. He's six foot, gentle giant. Was with Tony David. And I think Tony was giving some advice, as we know Tony, Tony already a winner. 59. But it's what happens up here. We always say, and we have said, it's all on the day, but on the evening here. I interviewed both players 16. this morning, Tony, and Mark Webster after the interview said, right, that's it, I'm going back to bed now. He's been chilling. Well, up like a rocket, and that's Stephanie, his sister. This is really clinical darts. 100. Well, looking in pole position to take this set now from here is Mark Webster. But, uh, maximum will put in some handy pressure. 140. And that's out. This is for the set. Yes. So 42 left. Knowing he likes double top. 82. First one is missed. Simon required. 82. Right, might go bull double 16 here. Let's see. So single 17. Leaves him double top. His first start as a double just drops short. Mark and require 20. And this for the first set, double 10. Yeah, yeah there you go. Shot on the first set. Mark what a confident start from the number one seed. Yes, there's the motion. motion. Second set, first leg. It's Mark to throw first. Game on. He is the World Cup singles champion. 100. He had a straight win. European champion. 100. One set already in the bag. We've seen Eric Bristow, Ray Barneville, John Lowe and Leighton Reese himself all take this title and the World Cup singles title as well in the same year. Only one man's ever completed the treble and added the World Cup, World Title and European Championship to his collection and that's uh, Raymond Van Barneveld himself. 140! Brought darts to Holland really, inspired a nation. But the championship was uh, opened up really at the beginning. When you call about uh, favourites, the two to one favourite, Gary Mark Anderson. But here we go. So, so trouble 17. Would have left the ball, only a fraction away. But Simon looking down, still needs 244. 45. It's the first time this week we've seen Simon Whitlock caught cold from the start. 100. Mark requires 76. Five Elvises out there. Single 16. Double top. 36. Simon requires 144. So as Corky watches on, a chance. Another treble 18 would leave the double 18. Two in. Needs the double. Oh, oh unlucky. Eight. So, so close. 40. His favourite, double top. Double 10. Oh, dear. Moving across, double 10. 20. First opening Simon for the wizard. Require 36. For his first leg of the world final, double 18. Yes, there you go. that's game shot. And the first leg, Simon Wheeler. And 
will do his nerves no harm at all. Second leg, it's Simon to throw first. Game on. Well, he's on the board, it's Simon Whitlock, and he's broken the throw as well. The atmosphere, you know, that's built up in here. Uh, well, this will, this will build up anyway. It would have been a maximum, everybody would have been standing. But right up to the final. All the costumes. <laughs> there they go. I was trying to say. Well, that's what they've all come to see. 96. Being for a long night as well. Little to choose between these two. 60. Yeah, while I was having lunch uh, with uh, Simon, seven Elvises came into the <laughs> pub. So, myself, Tony Dolan, had, had a photograph with him. I think they should have they should have a competition, you know, for the best uh, costume. One hundred. Uh, we'll suggest Mario that next year. They've made the effort. Mark Webster making an effort for one two five. Treble twenty would have left double top. Sixty five. So which way will Simon go eight. here? Most probably the ball. Something I would never do on this shot. There you go. Trouble 20. Look how he pierces out these. Double eight. Oh, unlucky. 70. Martin requires 60. Dropping the two didn't help, did it? Double 20. Top of the shop. Double 10 then. Yeah, yep. yes, that's game Squares shot. it up. On the second leg, Mark Webster. Double top just deserting him for a moment. Third leg is marked to throw first. Yes, will it be in the air? Getting on. At the end. Holding a trophy. Greatest in darts. 100. There's 19 different names on that trophy. One thing is for certain. 2008, we'll have a 20th different name and a new champion. There they all are. From years gone by. Yeah! 180! So the 180s, two apiece. Still in the first set. 60. Anyone's 60. game? Does he know the winner? If he does, he's not seen me before the match. Well, the bookies won't let him have a bet. <laughs> <laughs> 100. Mark your require 161. Well, finishes on. Treble 17. No. He's decided not to go the ball route to finish 121. here. 121. Yeah, Simon on on 210. Made himself. Uh, an easier walk to the hockey next throw. His favourite double. 78. Top. Mark, you require 40. There it is. Double 10. It's in the last leg. And is it yes, in this leg? That's game shot on the third leg. Mark Webster. One set up, 2 1 in this set. Fourth leg is silent to throw first. Game on. Two. Gladiators of world darts do battle on the stage while their legions follow on from the hall. Oh, Caesar. 57. <laughs> I think they're having a go at my friend Lee, Gypsy Rose Lee down there. This is the first time, though, Tony, isn't it? We've seen Simon Whitlock under pressure right at the start of a match this week. Interesting to see how he copes with it. Yeah, I don't, it's easy to say he's had a comfort to arrive through, but 
uh, is done enough. I'm here. <laughs> 79. Pretty faces. Sixty. Just before we started, and I don't mind admitting it, the take into my eye when Andy Fordham was introduced on the stage, and you could hear the cheers in Portsmouth. Absolutely, it's so good to see Fordy back on that stage. And it's our hope from everyone here that one day we see him back on the stage throwing his darts again. Great guy. And the last Englishman to lift the World Championship trophy as well. What's uh, oh, what oh, 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 last year? He's English. I know he looks Irish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's the still captain, champion. I forgot him. <laughs> <laughs> He's still champion. 84. Simon required 96. Okay. Trouble 20. Double 18. Squares it. Yes, that's game shot. And the fourth leg. Simon Wheeler. Good leg to win. All square. Fifth leg is marked to throw first. Game on. But. The left hander with the advantage of throwing first. 140! One set to mark. 140! Well, there they are together, the Wizards and the Welsh. 134. Brilliant, brilliant cover shots. Even the Wizards supporters applaud those. 96. Yeah. We normally see uh, Simon doing that. 57. I might still see him with these three darts. 95, of course, would leave uh, a 170 for himself. Needs the treble now. 57. Mark the require 170. So we've seen it twice this week. Well, we might have to wait for a third. 60. Only 60. So chances still for Simon Whitlock from here. Okay. Will he go for well surprise there? Fifty. Silently requires sixty-eight. Trouble twenty double four. Sixteen. Double sixteen for the set. Oh Simon! 15. You must take them when they're there. Mark the requires sixty. Has been all week. Double top for a second set in the yes, bag. That's game shot. And the second set. Mark Webster. Webster turns to his Welsh fans. He's 2 0 up here. Third set first. Great leg. double top. Simon to throw first. Game on. Well, Simon. He's been hitting them finishes 59. all the way to the final. This isn't the moment in time to miss them. When the opportunity arises, take it. 100. What's well, a leap year this year, 2008? Dull boy, marry me. Is that a proposal we have here this evening? Yeah, the lover, three wheeler then, taking him to the church. <laughs> oh yes, they can reliant on that. 99. Scott Waits was here tonight. He'd uh, vowed he'd lift the trophy and propose to his uh, girlfriend Sally. After the wait at least another year for 100. that. It'll take a long time for this trophy. 
130 goals. <laughs> it's your mate. Didn't know he was here. He's come down to see the <laughs> final. Glenn Moody. Oh, dear. 57. Simon Iroquois, 148. Right, let's see this finish. Treble 20 again. Double 14 for Simon Whitlock. Oh, unlucky. 120. <laughs> 100. OK. Simon, you require 28. Double 14, Simon. Keep it tight. Come on. Oh, no. no. A comfortable Ryan finish here. Require 86. Options, treble 18, double 16, double 8. Oh, 78. well, he's coming back. The Simon Whitlock. Getting some final night nerves, Simon I think, um, from down under. Still double 14. Well, he's pulled that into the 11. So, single one leaves double 8. His Tell. hand just wasn't steady at all going for that. Mark, you require eight. That's double four. Double troubles here with these two. Yeah. But Mark's with that last start. Shot. And the first leg, Mark Webster. Well, what might have been again for Simon Whitlock. Yes, he knows. Second Every leg. leg. To throw first. Game on. Every leg is a step nearer to the crown. 93. As long as this doesn't start playing on Simon's mind, because it just gives you that little bit more tension and thought when you're throwing, instead of the fluency. 100. Yeah. He's scoring well, he's keeping up with Webster. Remember, Mark is the world number one. Well, most of the championships around the world this year. 140! Yeah, and Simon, obviously, from the outside, looks calm. It's understandable that there will be a few nerves. This is his first major 91. final, three times a, a major semi-finalist before. He'd never won one of them. Mark has got some big... TV final experience at least under his belt, even at the age of 24. But remember, Mark Webster started brilliantly against Martin Adams in the semi final and still managed to lose four sets on the trot. Treble 20 now will leave Bolt if he wanted to go for it. 65. It's handily placed still. Sixty. Mark requires sixty-five. Okay, twenty-five. Yes, double top for two nil. Twenty-five. Could be all right. One hundred and fifty. Very Simon difficult finish, David. Yeah, it certainly is. Whatever way you go, treble nineteen. I think with the first start, another treble nineteen. Ooh, unlucky. He's staying 95. down those nineteens as well. Mark requires forty. Well, he does like it. Keeps dropping short. Double ten. There you go. Yes, that's game shot. And the second leg. Mark Webster. There it is. Third leg, it's Simon to throw first. Game on. So every time he misses the double top, which is not often, that double ten straight over. 100. It's a good double for a left-hander, isn't it? Double ten. Double 16 is good for the righties. Yes. OK, well, there is Mark Williams, another world champion. A regular visit to the finals. But this year, it's for another left-hander. His mate, Mark Webster. I assume we'll be seeing Mark Hang in action. Oh, look at this. David. Oh, oh unlucky. 135. Yeah, it could have been another 180 coming up. I was going to say, I assume we'll see Mark in action at the Master Snooker on BBC Television this week. 
Oh, 180s all round. Oh, it's all happening. Only in the third set. 180s for fun. 100. Look at Simon that. Simon 121. Great leg to win this. Treble 18 leaves the bullseye. Treble four instead. 49. Martin require 86. Treble 18. Double 16 for another set. Means so much this start, yeah, and is it it? We've played three sets, they've all gone against that man. 12 darts it took him to wrap up the third Full set. set. first leg, it's Mark to throw first. Well, it's a phenomenal start from Mark Webster. You are the number one seed. Good to make a first-class impression. And he's doing that. Yes. 100! Well, he hasn't got a twin, has he? He's got a great career ahead as a looker like he, isn't he? He certainly has. 59! It'll mean him going to North Wales, I would think. Talking of which, I wonder if Mark Webster will be on county darts duty next week for Cluid. Yes, you have a nice little story there, haven't well, you? Well, it could be a very good night next week to go and watch some Cluid county darts. They might be 42nd in the overall rankings. But they have in their ranks that young man, Mark Webster, and also the women's 92. world champion, Anastasia Dobromyslova. Not often you see two count uh, world champions playing for the same county team. Well, there you are, and they understand Russian in North Wales. <laughs> so if Webster wins, get yourself down. He might be three sets down, but he's not out of this yet. Yeah, it's all right. It's a good sight. These 180s. But what of that cover? 77. Simon Iroquois, 170. This is what you've got to do. Finish them off. Come on. You can do it. Oh, only a fraction. 120. But as we see... Mark Iroquois, 24. Mark always there on a finish double six yes. and it's in it each time it's a parade at the moment well he's Second cast a spell on the wizard oh we saw a smile from simon at that uh, 81. end of the leg and i think it's one of the first he's had all through the championship a lot of things going through his mind. 60. He knows he has to get into the match. Can't afford to lose this one. We'll switch after that first start, locking the bed. 96. <laughs> 135. Another big score for Mark Webster. This is the story of the match, Tony. From the outset, the first nine darts that don't include the doubles, 107.9 to 94. So Webster clearly ahead. And staying ahead on that three dart average, which even with the missed doubles is looking impressive. Yes, you won't get uh, standard in a final as high as this. 58. The only problem has been for this man. Not it in the double. Jasper watching at home. Look at that. that. Shows some of the misery that Simon Whitlock's going in. Yeah. Two out of twelve. Sixteen. Twenty-seven. Ten. Simon, you require one hundred and thirty. Well, I hope Mother Superior's let them out. She knows about it. Double eight. Oh, he's done it. Mind you, he's all right here, David. Yeah. One hundred and eighty-eight. But I think you'll find he'll uh, be pressurised with this throw. Well, absolutely. Whitlock just needs a couple of legs Simon back to back where everything goes for him. Double four. See, just the wrong side of the wire again. 
and again. And now there's real pressure. Yes. Yes. Well done. Last game shot on the second leg. Simon Whitlock. Kept us waiting. Used the first two darts very well. It's marked to throw first. <laughs> 59. The only problem he has, he has to break the serve of Mark Webster in this uh, set. Start his favourites as far as they throw. 100. Lots of Welsh fans here cheering on Mark Webster. 58. <laughs> oh, and our mate's back in again with the oldest Mohican in town. 100. He's doing well here because he's got himself uh, 83 ahead against the 59. throw. 59. Well, we have seen Mark Webster switch off 131. in a set or two throughout this championship. This is one of them. 16. Simon, you require 170. Here we go. Not this time, but uh, a little bit of a cushion as far as finishing. 56. It's a really good one to win when you think, because it's going to break the throw already. Exactly. 45. Could be as well. The Simon require 114. First time of the match, Simon will have won back-to-back -back legs. Single 17, single 17 and needed, so 14 now to leave tops. Good job he has got that cushion. That will have upset him, you know, but I'm mm. in a shot at it. Win that throw. 100. Well, we've not seen him Simon throw loose darts like, darts like that at all. Double top. Yeah, that's yes, better. Yes, that's game shot on the third leg. Simon Whitlock. Well, much better. Puts Whitlock in command in this set. Fourth leg, it's Simon <laughs> to throw first. Game on. That replay. I love to see how the flight goes straight into the double. Get it from the tail end. 121. <laughs> Even the players don't see that. Well, there's Sharon Adams, just getting over a headache. She said she didn't have much to drink during the semi-final at all. 100! She's a lot calmer tonight than she was 12 months ago. 96! I can't believe I forgot her old man won the title. We'll forgive you. <laughs> Hope he does. 96. Been trying all these years, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Carried the... 134. Carried the World Championship crown throughout the year. An ambassador. 46. Only 46 there for Simon Whitlock. Would have expected more. 100. There he is. Simon you require 138. He'll be hoping none of them win. He's hope it's a draw. He'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, trouble time with this last. Oh, wrong bed. 121. He's got it. Mark you require 123. Nice finish this. Trouble 19. 16 leaves the ball. We've seen him hit these balls. Oh, that's not far away. You can't see the point. 98. Simon requires 17. Right, single one leaves double eight, or single nine leaves double four. Yeah, yes, he's got it first time. Shot. And the fourth set. Simon Whitlock. It's taken a while, but Whitlock has a set on the board. Yes, he has, and he's got to keep his head. 
Fifth set, first leg. It's Simon to throw first. Game on. Cole will be relieved. He will be, promise you. And the good thing is, he took that set against the darts. Still. 41. See much emotion from him, but there's a bit. I still say if he shaved that beard off, he'd be a dead ringer for Brett Lee. 16. <clears throat> and he used to be a fast bowler in his uh, younger days as well. I bet he didn't fall three at a time, though. <laughs> Facing now than uh, Brett Lee, I must admit. Swiped his hands prior to the throw. Very hot in here. 140! Another good chance now. Take this first leg in the fifth set. Yes! <laughs> well, great reply. 145. 145 from Mark Webster. 120. Now, this is what Webster took out in the first leg of the match. Single 20 leaves double top. Shuffling back and forth. All over the top. Yes. Sixty-one. There's a second out there, blocked him out, but here we go. Twenty-five, double eighteen. The marker is there. Oh, come on, Simon. Forty-three. Peter, Simon Simon's misses. 40. Shouting on. Double top. Might be able to use that to help him. Oohs and ahs. And cheers at last. This is good now. Right in the middle. Well, he's really making a, a mini comeback here. Four legs in a row. Simon Whitlock has won. 55. He did mention that uh, he has a little lull in his match. We've seen it throughout, in actual fact. Glenn Moody, in particular. Mm. Mark Webster. Yeah. yeah. 99. Well, he did, yeah. He dropped a set against his first three opponents, didn't he, Mark? And then dropped those four sets in the semi final against Martin Adams. And they were all in a row. 140. Fifty-seven. I just said when you're in such a final, where the heat, the atmosphere, and you come onto that stage, it's, the, it's who other can get rid of the nerves first. Mark seems to do that, but then he gets that lead. Suddenly, he relaxes. But there's a finish there. There'll be a finish here. One hundred and thirty-nine. There it is. Simon Yuqua, one hundred and seventy. The big one. Keeps leaving it, doesn't he? Where's he going to go here? 31. 46. And only 46. Mark require 148. Well, Mark Webster can't check out here. He's rather blocking that treble 20 bed. 60. Simon only require 124. After three poor darts in his last throw. 64 left, so treble 14. The ball it is. Don't yeah, give me no ball. Shot. Give it and to Simon. Simon Peter was happy, Simon, even better. The reaction tells it all. Look at that. Third leg, it's Simon to throw first. Game on. He is loving this now.
Fabulous. One, two, four. 76. Check, there 76. he is. Hence his nickname. 86. Go for it, anything you want. Yeah. The battery's gone on his uh, digital. <laughs> oh, dear. What a moment of relaxation. <laughs> It's not upset, Mark. 85. Yeah. I'll give Rav a new calculator for Christmas. <laughs> uh, you can count these. Yeah, that's better. 80. Six in the bag already. And four One for Webster. No, not quite. Right here. Oh, yes. And what's he left himself 65. once again? 170. <laughs> well, he, he was telling me that every time he goes to the board, he doesn't play his, his opponent. 60. He plays the board and tries for a 12 down finish every 70. time. And he's playing the referee there, saying, <laughs> I want 86, please. But you're right, Tony. It's a great way to uh, approach a game of darts. 96. Tony David. He has been there and he has held the crown. 16. He's going back to Sorry, Perth. 74. On Tuesday. Simon's going back tomorrow. Will it be his champion? Could be. Double 16. Yes. Yeah. He's moving in, he's moved up a gear. Well, maybe he can sense it now. Maybe he can sense something in the air. Sixth set, first leg, it's Mark to throw first. Game on. Well, we started last Saturday, not this Saturday, just gone. 100. And we're now here in the final. And what a pity it would have been if we'd have seen cakewalk as a final because the darts I've witnessed this year in 31 years is the finest I've ever seen and we could be on in for one of the greatest finals here it's 3-2 in sets first leg six sets there it is that's what they play for. 140! Eric Bristol, five times engraved on the trophy. I'll say it'll never, ever be beaten. Not while I'm living. 100! Well, there's Bert Whedon there. He's not got his guitar, but he could give us all a few lessons. Not this man, though, on the board. 100! It's Whitlock on song at the moment. Yes, but what a lovely character. Not all his were the rattlings. The water rats. They're all at the Sorry table. All right. Against the darts. Could this be another leg for Simon Whitlock? Treble 18 leaves the bullseye. Uh, just a bit off target. So to stem the flow here, Mark 96. 96 for Mark. Well, he's made it difficult. Treble 12 now for double top. No. 76. Dropping short again. So you require 36. Double 18. One way traffic, the first three sets. Second leg, it's Simon to throw first. Game on. Another dart within the comeback. And that's now seven legs on the trot that Simon Whitlock has won here. It's brought him the fourth and the fifth set. 100. And maybe the sixth.
Art Webster's mum and dad looking on, not amused. Oh, there's Mark. Headboard. Not looking at this shot. 96! Yes, the, uh, as I say, we've had a lot of the water rats here this week. Bert, great supporter, and his wife next to him. 140! <laughs> 165, not an out shot. 60! But at least... Mark Webster leaving himself plenty to do. Stay on the Stay 19s, yep. yep. 133! It's an amazing turnaround, this, from Simon Whitlock. 59! Simon, you require 32. That's double 16. The second leg of this sixth set. Double eight. Yeah, he's yeah, not missing now, is he? Second leg. Simon Waylon. Missing nothing. Not a thing. Third leg is Mark to throw first. Game on. Look at that. And look at this. 140. It's one leg. That's all he needs to take us to 3-3. Three, three. Then a break. 45. <laughs> 100. Oh, heck. It's Shrek. <laughs> They're all here. Looking a bit green, what they've been putting in the pies. Beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> All the Aussie heroes, Rolf Harris, Skippy, and our old mate Harold Bishop. Yes, I bet they all wish they was down by the billabong. <laughs> <laughs> see, personally, I'd rather see Kylie out there myself. Mark Got the Aussie heroes. She's been here. Hmm? Yeah. We should be so lucky. Treble 17. That's better stuff this leg for Mark Webster. Yes, it's to save the set. No out shot before the throw. 140! Mark the required 24. He hasn't won a leg for a while. Has now, yes, though. Yes, that's going to run the third leg. Mark Webster! Fourth leg, it's Simon to throw first. Game on. Stops the run. 59. Oh, instantly. Mark Webster moves ahead with a 180. Isn't it strange, that low again for a set. And then he comes back, puts three, all next to each other in a treble 20. 92! Double just gave him a bit of confidence, gave his supporters something to shout about. 100! Yeah, Peter's uh, a little bit uh, better. Uh, uh, the first three nil down, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Just incredible watching the reactions of 83. both other halves here. Lorraine, Mark's girlfriend, was sat behind Peter there. Si Simon Whitlock's misses. 97. Yes, yeah, did well. Refused to go with the trouble 20 with the second out because it was blocked, but I'd see was the last one. 45. Mark the require 124. He's winning this against the darts. 64 left. 
Treble eight, single 16. 84. And Simon back on double Nelson. No chance of victory in this leg. Not from here, really. 42. Oh. require 40. He's oh. got his money on Mark. Yes, that's game shot on the fourth leg. Mark Webster. Yes, Mark squares the set. Last leg before we're going for a break. Who's it going to be? Fifth leg, it's Mark to throw first. He has the advantage. Please, game on. If you can take this leg, scoreline will be 4 2 in sets. 96. I'll remind you, it's the best of 13, which is the first to seven. Now, these deciding legs in a set, Simon Whitlock has been winning all week. 57. Only once before this final against Brian Woods in the semi final, had he lost a set that went all the way the second set here he's done that tonight as well 137 listen to tom they engrossed in the action we'll have a little break and go and make a cup of tea come straight back to the power game that these two players are producing 100. i want to hear tony what bobby george and Wonder. Ray Stubbs have got to say about this. Lovely jabby. That wasn't, though, that 100, was it? 168 he's left. That's a bogey number now. 180 here. Oh, that's really unlucky. 83. Could have put some severe pressure on, so Mark's got away with this a little bit. Yeah. Back into it now. 77 scored. 91 left, trouble 17. He likes double top. Well, that's what he went for. 94. It's yeah. Strange though, you know, that uh, he lost his count there. He must be, he's maybe playing on his mind. Yeah, it's not often we've seen him do that this week. This man always knows where he's going. That's a good time to put in a 140, Mark but 74. Mark Webster, treble 18 for double 10. And he's yeah, two sets in front as Mark we Webster. head for the break. Mark the youngster from Ladies Wales settled quickly. He's had his blip. Can Those Whitlock come back break. once again, or is the title going to Wales?
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Just one quick announcement before we get underway. We have a party uh, of people from Holland, and they're here from the St. Joseph Hotel, which is in Thailand in uh, the Netherlands. We've got a gentleman with them, and I do apologize because I find it difficult to pronounce. And I believe his name is something like Shaba Judas, and he's not very well. And his lifetime ambition was to come to the Great Lakeside. And the lovely St. Joseph's Hotel has brought his wish true today. He's here at Lakeside. They're sitting over the table, right in the corner. Put your hands together for him, please. Thank you. Never count your chickens. Will you be so noisy 50 years time when you're sitting there in the same colour?
Yeah, thank you, Ray. And as I say, they've been enjoying this. I hope you enjoyed the music. Mark Son and Let's get the introduction of the players back onto the stage, but I hope that uh, a bit of entertainment has helped you relax. It's an exciting match. It's 4-2 as they enter the stage. The world number one leading. But as we can uh, see, there was great comebacks in this uh, finals and right the way through the world championships. Let's hope this is one. But relax, we'll be having three darts practice and then we'll be on with the model. Yep, Simon Whitlock take it, took out today that black and white shirt that he'd been saving for a final here. He kept it in its wrapper until he got onto this stage. I wonder if it's all going to be in vain because Mark Webster 4-2 up now. Kind of think the momentum once again is running with the young Welshman, but as you say, Tony, nothing is decided. Some great fun in the interval, but this is now the serious business. There's a winner's prize of £85,000 and a title up for grabs. Seven set, first leg. It's Simon to throw first. Game on! As is the norm, we have a change of referees. <laughs> Harry Butler. 40. Barry Gill be on the stage, Rob Butler having left. Great start for Whitlock. Needs to keep that going. OK. 58. Meaning business. 180. First leg after the break. One hundred. Forty two. Another lull. Looking good now for Simon for this first leg. Mind you, it is his advantage of throwing first. Can't stress the importance of that. It's interesting watching Simon Whitlock getting some advice from Tony David during the break. 45. Simon, you require 140. Finish. Well, 256 is still required here from Webster. 100. Not making it any headway with this throw. 96. Simon, you require 40. It's double top. Yes, the first yes, leg. Going to on the first leg. Simon Willard. After the break. Second leg, it's marked to throw first. Game on. The water. Yeah, well, Whitlock's done, as you say, Tony, what he's got to do is win the leg. And he has the advantage of first throw, and that, to me, is 100. the way he's approached the championship so far. And then, if he can get a break, a chance to break, well, then he's got to bounce straight back again. He's got a hit mark where it 64. hurts. But Mark Webster should be thinking, if I just hold on to my throw here, I'm going to be the world champion. A very simple way to approach it, but if he can... It's a great effect. Once you get into the game, you don't get much thoughts going through. You're up there and thinking, right, I'm on the 20s. Simon, he, th he throws entirely one different. <laughs> There's one, you see. Get up there, get as many points as I can. There's the boys from Chelsea. What a reply this will be. Yeah! Oh. Oh, what they had at the break. 17. Double top. 97. Puts himself in with a chance. Simon, you require 
Right, treble 18 leaves the ball. Well, may go for the ball. He has done. Only for the treble 18s. It'd been in. Mark, you're going to 20. Well, double 10, been a saviour so far. Push the wire. Some moves and ours. Oh, and he has missed it. Simon, you require 36. Like I said, the chances may still come for Whitlock. Keeps his cool. Double 18. And it goes. Just going to the second leg. Simon Whitlock. Well, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. If Superman's on your side, leg, it's Simon to throw first. Game on. You could yet be a hero. So one apiece. Both the first legs went against the throw. Oh, look 40. at that! Sure. There's a boomerang. It won't bounce back. That one. Even Mark Webster was smiling at this. I always think it helps if they aim to either side of the darts, not straight at the flight. It is repairs. And it is to normal. Ninety-one. Yes, Bob Potter represented here. It's his granddaughter. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Well, he's left that 170 again. What do you reckon, about seven or eight times? Yeah. yeah. I don't think it was deliberate this time. 41. Rather Simon forced into it. So, once again, can we have a third highest finish of them all of the week? No. That's really unlucky, because it was just to the left, and a second dart in as well. He's far enough ahead, though, shouldn't dwell on it at all. Yeah, I think it's worth mentioning that uh, Bob Thornton and Cor Stompe present uh, with the highest out shot, £1,500 each. But this is for the set. With a scoreline of 4-3, he wants double 12. That's the one! Yes, this game shot, and a seven set. Simon yes, B for victory from Peter. And that's the shot that did it. <laughs> oh, she maybe right, has pointed out a few things for him. To throw first, game on. So Whitlock comes out, all guns firing. 59. There they are, the lads that fought for us all. Total of eight have arrived here this year, as always, on parade. 640 years spanning their history. Well done, guys. We love you. One hundred and thirty-six. Well aware of the darts. Eighty-five. And they'll be well aware of how much. These next few sets could change their lives, not just for the players, but for their wives and girlfriends as well. 98. Peter. Cassie. Sorry, it's Peter, isn't it? Yeah, and Lorraine. Peter on the left, Lorraine on the right. Absolute agony for them, though, Tony, isn't it? Well, it's nice that they're together, 58. as I say. Oh, look at that. That was something. Well, she, she knows. Simon started off with a 140 in this leg, and... Spluttered a bit since then. 60. Wonder what's going through the minds of Taylor and Mason back in uh, Deception Bay as well. Peter and Simon's other children. 
Well, if you're watching on the internet, you'll like that, kids. Yes, it's a good uh, session here. 59. Since the break. Sony required 38. Since the break. Took the first set. Chance now for a break in this set. Double 19. Yes, it's there. Sign of Wendell. Second leg, it's Simon to throw first. Game on. Not the best double, but we saw there in the replay. What a great shot it was. Broke the dart. It's given him an excellent chance of forging on from here to try One and square the match. 31. Great opening as well. But it's hotting up now, isn't it? What a great final we're witnessing here. We've had 15 180s, 9 to Whitlock, 6 to Webster. 81. The out shots are there. Oh, come on, do it. Yes, yeah. just hold on. Put your cups of tea down. We're on a nine dart finish. We saw the last one in Bridlington, John Boy Walton. £52,000. Existing on a 1 4 1. Oh no, missed with a seventh. That's really unlucky. 100. Now, whether it was going through his mind or not, I don't know. But he kept his cool. That 100 was good. Because obviously he's got to win the leg first and foremost. And how many times I've seen that uh, they've lost the leg? He's got a chance of 41. 59. Didn't Simon Whitlock lose 100. a leg after seven 41. perfect darts in Bridlington? Yeah. Double top for Webster. No. One. Kicks the hockey. 90. So you require 90. Should get at least one dart at a double here. So trouble 20. Trouble 20. He wants double five. Look at the concentration. Oh, lucky. Mark, you require 40. That was the right way to go. But he didn't hit it. And Webster's missed double top for double ten now. He's having trouble here. Yeah. Saves it. Hit straight back. <laughs> and he needed it. Means so much that one. Third leg, it's Mark to throw first. Game on. Advantage time. Swings again. Seven sets. That is what required to take this tight. Eighty-three. Eighty-five thousand pound to the winner. Fifty-nine. That was the first leg that Mark Webster has won since the interval there as well. The fifth leg that we played. Oh, getting a bit hairy for him, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, there he is, brought his sheep with him. Prefer uh, to walk in the sheep, to walk in the dogs. 134. That's what Simon will be doing next week, back in deception bait. He'll be feeding his fish. <laughs> Lover of all things is dogs. It's a exotic fish. Even collects lizards as well. They don't have to, they're in the back garden. <laughs> 100. Uh, Dame Edna's offspring, I think, in the uh, audience tonight. 134. OK. Yes, so 49, single nine for double top. Double top. 
All on the way up. 69. Now then. Simon you require 84. It's just weighed 84. So the 20 double 12. Right, treble 14. Or the single. He wants the ball. Oh, you could hear a pin drop there once again. Mark, you require 40. Double top. Equally as quiet. Not now. That double ten's really coming to Mark Webster's rescue. Four play, and it's Simon to throw first. Game on. As the Welsh flag was flying there. And difficult now. Switching. 58. Look, the shot he was looking there on the throw. It's 2 1 down. In the set. 60. It's not the reply, well, Mark. Had a level the match. Or oh, the two sets gap. 99. Quite leg for both players here. Yeah. 96. Well, we're seeing, aren't we, in moments during this final, just how much difference tonight's game is from any other that you'll play during this championship. So much more one riding on 25. it. There's one that's certain they won't be thinking of the prize fund up there. That'll be the last thing 100. on the mind. It's the title they require. Put your name on the trophy with all the greats in world darts. And they've all won it. First one was a Welshman. My mate, Leighton Reese. 99. Simon, you require yep. 122. Cheers, this is a good finish, isn't it? It is for Simon Whitlock. Really good on his 18s. Needs a treble here. And just blocked it a bit, hasn't he? Yeah, he missed the treble there. That first start really didn't help him at all. Mark, you require 146. Oh, see if this one goes. Oh, that's not too bad, but it won't be an out shot. It's probably, well, we'll see what it goes. It was treble 10, double 18. Simon Sensible at last. 68. This is the one. It's a square. Single eight. Left double 16. 52. That was way off. Way, way off. Trying to force it too hard, I think. 16 for tops for Webster. Not been hitting this recently. And then again, it's 10 that's come to his rescue. Yes, <laughs> Incredible. And the eight sets. Not Webster. What a get out and what a let off. Nine set, first leg. It's Simon to throw first. Game on. <laughs> well, the range jumping. Peter sit, sitting quiet. Oh, yes. Well, we saw an attempt to the nine dart finish from Mark Webster. 57. There it is. Can we see three more like that? Just dropping short, but I think importantly for Simon Whitlock, had to come back with that 180. It was a set that got away from him, the eighth set. Trails by two sets once again. Time running out. Can't keep a, affording the chances that he's giving Mark Webster tonight. Lady looks astounded. Oh, 180. 140 in the leg, 124 left. Simon, you require 124. Trouble 20. Trouble 18 ball. Maybe go for the ball he did last time, and is it here again? He's very comfortable, isn't he, going for the bullseye? Even setting up the out shots. These are both in the treble 20. Oh, There's three in. Simon, you require 36. All right, double 18. This is the one he likes. Double 14. 
Double seven. Yeah. <laughs> Kept his cool. Great adjustment. Second leg, it's Mark to go first. Game on. Yes, as we saw there, going in, that was an incredible dart to go in the double seven. Yeah. Under the pressure was under, but also yeah. under more pressure now. Look at that with the Welsh emblem on there. Another 180. Back to back 180 is pretty, they were in different legs. I don't think we realise how good this final really is. It's, it's been magical. Well, it will be, won't it? The Wizards with us. <laughs> it's uh, the sixth non-English final we've had in 31 years of this championship. Serving up a real treat tonight. 40. As far as uh, the Welsh, Mark could be the first North Wales winner ever. Certainly could. Look at the, the first nine darts average and how it's completely closed up since the third set, Tony. And they're now pretty much dead level. And overall, oh, well, Whitlock's average with another maximum going up, but he's three points ahead. Further to that, we've got 20, 180s in the match. Nine to Webster, 11 to Whitlock. That is the quality that we are seeing. Can he do the finish, though, now? Double 16. Tense. Because Webster here, 103, 103 to level it off. It's leading 5-3, remember. Trouble 17. Can't do it. Maybe this time for Simon. 45. Well, he was giving Simon, Simon advice in the break. 16. Has it sunk in? Double eight. Yes. Handy to have a former champion on your side. Real slugfest here. Eight, Simon to throw first. Game on. Look at that. Straight in once more to that treble 20 bed. 100. But we'll be disappointed, Tony. It wasn't any more than just 100. At this stage of the match, 100 is quite good. 93. It's hot. Pressure, tension. 60. Especially as you're getting ever closer, you think, I can't afford to lose this. And these are the things that's going through the mind at the moment of Simon. 100. Does it help Mark Webster then, mentally, that he's two sets up? I believe he's thinking, I can't afford to throw it away. Oh, no, it's, it'll help him. But that will help Simon immensely. Yeah, when you've got uh, a two-set cushion, it gives you that little Forty. chance to still play Simon your own darts. 61. Your natural game. Treble 20. Treble 17 would have left the ball. This sort of mood, he would have probably have gone for it as well. <laughs> He'll be coming back. Definitely may even get six darts at this finish. Because a turn would leave 168 and it's not uh, an out shot. Oh, he's worked it out. 58. Simon requires 64. Yep, got the counting right. Couldn't find the treble. Double eight. This for the set. Oh, 48. But he'll be coming back. He's got at least three more darts. Yeah. But. At this stage, another treble, he'll be under pressure to hit it. And he is now. 40. OK. Double eight. Double four. Yes! And that was comfort. And a ninth set. Still wants a throw, and he got it. Absolutely no emotion from the Webster camp, but Whitlock Six staring set. back. Whitlock by a whisker. Would you bet against it now? Well, well it's bound to be marked on even shave. <laughs> but it's darts on a razor's edge here. The main thing is the scoreline now. Five Webster, four Whitlock. First one to seven. 
And the thing is, I think the championship is lived up now from when we started. It's been unbelievable darts all the way through. We're now in a final that's really must be giving everybody some great entertainment. 60. But you don't know what these two lads are suffering. There it is. We've seen full house every single session, afternoon and evening. The greatest cathedral in world darts. The pilgrims have come this Sunday evening to gather at the altar. Mark require 81. Okay. Trouble 19. It's double 12 with a second. Slow it down for a 12 data. Ooh. He's coming back. Definitely coming back. It's his father. It's Cynthia there also. Mum and dad. Thanks, double 12. <laughs> Doing what he has to do, holding his throw. Second leg, Simon to throw first, game on. Simon has to stick with him and wait for a chance. Oh, he dropped down. 124. Oh, did it just does slip out of his hand there? A single four. Certainly glitter on the stage this evening. And that is the trophy. One hundred. Sixty. Get a trouble here. Yes, this looks good now. 100! Keeps his advantage. Yes, a lot of Welsh fans. That, they haven't had much to sing about over the last few years, Wales. In the doldrums as far 100. as darts. And I saw this young lad playing in the internationals three years ago, and I said, this kid's going to be super. It's proved me right. What he has to do now is prove himself right and win the title. Fifty-seven. Well, he's put himself in a good chance so far. Seventy-eight for Simon Whitlock. Double twelve then, just to hold his throat. Yeah, that first start, long way from the double. I'm sure you all can see now. You're looking at the scoreline, 2-2-6. Not an out shot. 58. Simon, you require 24. He's had two darts for it. Three. Four. Double six now. And they do it with one. Doesn't need to. 12. Because Mark here certainly lost his uh, maths book there. One six eight, not a shot, uh, shot out. Ninety-six. Yeah, left himself on a bogey, and this is uh, proving troublesome for Simon Whitlock. This double six. Yeah, in the end, wipes it clean, gets Simon it in. Third leg, it's marked to throw first. Game on. So it's all square in this tenth set. Ninety-six. Greatest final I ever saw. Was producing the same darts as we're seeing here in this final. Phil Taylor, Mike Gregory. 180, 180. He hadn't time to sit down there. There have been some really impressive scoring this evening. Another 180 plops in for Mark Webster. That was his 10th so far. 13 180s for Simon Whitlock.
65. And the, uh, well, 140 is Mark Webster has the lead on that. Simon Whitlock just ahead on the tons. It's all going to come down to who holds their nerve at the double here because the scoring 60. brilliant from both of them. And the out shots. This is a big one. Um, uh, 60 point finish because no out shot. Simon. Yep. Just out of pressure. Yes, what good recovery is. there. 35. Mark here by 60. Well, double top's been letting him down, but that's what he needs. See, missed it again. Double 10. Oh, it's like his breakdown recovery service coming along to give him a tow home. It's Simon to throw first. Game on. It's like a magnet. He really has it, the double tens. 100. Another two in, another three in. Oh. And once again, the first three darts to require the nine dart finishes. 13. 180s with that one. Will it be 14? Could well be. Oh, and off the barrel. 40. Just glanced. 180, 140. But the main thing is, he is now looking good. For the set to go 6 4 and one set away. 60. Yep, against the darts, isn't it? This leg. One hundred. He's really put a big effort, effort in here. 180, 140. Simon, no answer to them scores. Only 60. So which way will it go here? Treble 19. I would have left double 12. Going for treble 10 for double 16. 65. Yeah, 196 though. The crowd can't get excited here on this throw. Simon can't go out. Remember, it's set point here. Mark moving in. Mark here requires 16. Double eight. Keep it cool. Yes, yeah, first time. The scoreline. Six to Mark. Four to Simon. 11 sets. First leg, it's Simon to throw first. Game on. It meant so much. The gap is now two sets. One set away 100. from the title is the world number one, Mark Webster. Really impressed me. Since the interval, he might have lost the first set. Simon Whitlock started that. Mark Webster hit him back. He's held the sets where he's had the advantage of the first throw, which is all he's had to do. He's played a very 60. simple game to a brilliant standard. Well, when I saw his father in that last shot, he looked exhausted. 99. Look at him. Cynthia's cool. Oh, dear. What are they going through? Never mind. Mark. Very close-knit family. 100. Yeah, they'll be rooting for him back in Denby. County of Cluid, where he plays his... County darts, Martin Phillips, the Welsh captain, who's taken him under his wing. They'll all be on the edge of their seats, hoping that Mark Webster cross the finishing line at the end of this set. 100, Mark Uruguay, 22. Single 18 leaves treble for the bullseye. 90. Simon, you require 41. Well, you need it, Simon. And you have a chance. Trouble 16. So, it's in Mark's hands here. Mark, you require 32. Double 16. 
double eight. Could be letting Simon in here. We just saw the wire bend there. Here was the other side. Looks down and now at the board. Travel 13. Would have left double 12, so single 18 now for double 16. Wrong side of the wire. Lorraine grins. Could that be the one that loses him this title? This goes in. Oh, chances. Not the best double on the board. Four. His head goes down. Simon, you, Simon, you require 16. And sense the finish is getting close. Is it getting to Mark Webster? Double eight. Has to adjust way over to the right side. We've got to realise the tension here. There Eight. is lots of it. Yeah. It's when it comes to the closing stages, the tighten up, four. not only on the players, but on the supporters. Double one. Two. Oh. 21 darts each in this leg. So the longest leg of the championship eight. for these two. And still it's not over. Double four. Dad can't watch. Simon oh, Whitlock gets, gets it. Simon Whitlock, second leg. Mark to throw first. Game on. There's not been one expression from Lorraine, his girlfriend. <laughs> Just a well, slight grin. <laughs> Plenty of smiles for Simon Whitlock there. How crucial could that leg be? 16. Was... To hold his throw, that was the thing. Yeah, but Mark will be thinking One to himself, I should have had that. That's when your mind starts thinking. Still got to carry on with it. 97. Good advantage now. I don't think he wants this match to go any further. Mark Webster. And it's in his own hands. Can't check out now. 98 left. 58. All the W's. Whoever wins. This fight in here. Wonder. Really is putting in everything, Mark but can't do anything 80. about this. Treble 20, double 10. He's been hitting them all the way through the match. Could he miss this? He could. What a time to miss. Simon creeps in to go 2 0 up. Treble 16, double top. Double top, hold it cool, man. Yes, and he's done it. Well, they're applauding, and it's all happening here, I promise you. Everyone here cheering now, the Aussie. For once, that double ten. Didn't come to Mark Webster's rescue. 100! He hit it 9 out of 16 times before those two misses. Well, it's 2-0 in legs. One leg and we're moving 43. up. To 6-5. And only two to go. 16! I was saying about... Uh, Bill Taylor and Mike Gregory, their final. Went all the way, right to the last guard, up for ball. And to be honest with you, I'd just love this to happen here. They're giving everything. for nearly one and three quarter hours. He 
Yes, in a cauldron. Good switch. 72. Yeah. What's he left? <laughs> Knew exactly where he was going to leave himself on a finish. 140. Signing requirement 70. This is for a set as well. Yes. Not too bad. It's a very good score because 2 or one still for Webby. Sixty-five. All right, it's twenty-five and double top. There's the outer ball. And there's the red pit right at the top. Shots. And the eleven sets. Simon Peter gives him the finger, but by he gives us some pleasure here. He makes the scoreline six-five. What a great opening from Mark Webster, though, to start this 12th set. This is where Simon Whitlock's not been able to live with the young Welshman. Over 11 sets. The entertainment they have given us, both of them, the first nine darts are in the hundreds. Let's go this go. Webb is 101.8 overall, Whitlock 98.6. This is astounding, astonishing game. Here's another maximum. You knew it. <laughs> 25, 180s. That's what's been produced. That's one of them. Flight came out, former cricketer couldn't catch it. Catch this, though. Oh, great! Look at them here. What can you say? It's been like this from day one. It's a brilliant leg of darts, though, for Mark Webster. 100. To Mark hold his throw. 41. Single one. Double top for 11 dart leg. Oh, yes, incredible world class darts. Mark Webster. The Welsh have something to cheer. Second leg, Simon to throw first. Game on. All the way. 11 dart finish now. And oh, another oh, one oh, under oh, that. What a lovely oh, shot, guys. Oh, Everybody standing. I think Six, even the Welsh two. fans were applauding. Not surprised. But that 11 dart leg from Mark Webster. To say, Tony, he's just been holding his own throw. It's all he has to do, but in great 100. style. Yes, you can't fault anything here. Spectators here. Well, they're professional as well. They know exactly what's required for these players to entertain us at this top level. Wife. One of the directors with the British Darts organization. Simon, you require 100. This is Simon Whitlock. And this is for double top. Yes, a special second leg. Simon Whitlock. Another one. Third leg, it's Mark to throw first. Game on. Another one. 11. Dart finish. An 11 dart finish. Magnificent. You won't see this. Right, look at this. 60 from Mark Webster. Already 80 from Simon Whitlock. 100. Now. Oh. <laughs> 100. Each throw. Get in the order. Silence throughout. 60. We're reaching the closing stages of this final. 
100. Tense players. Simon hoping. Not Webster's strongest leg of the match. Oh, but he's still, still in there, isn't he? 60 ahead, although he had the throw. Now then, this could change picture. 61 left. To save this throw, and he can't do it. Whitlock's going to get a chance. Well, maybe treble 16, treble 8. It's working it out. Treble 8 it is. 101. So you require 61. Watch this shot. 25 or ball. Single 3. Double 4. Oh, that would have been a break. He needed that one. Look at the tension on the faces of Lorraine, Mark's girlfriend, Peter. Yes. Oh, yes. Mark Webster. To one. Simon. Simon to throw first. Game on. You've got to be everything. The wizard, can you pull it out the hat? We hope you can. We want it to go all the way. Yes. To one. Simon. Simon to throw first. Game on. You've got to be everything. The wizard. Can you pull it out the hat? We hope you can. We want it to go all the way. But look at that. Young lad of 24, world number one. The title in his grips. Yes, I wonder, was that Simon Whitlock's last chance? This young man, one leg away. 100! <laughs> 96! Well, the name of Mark Webster going on that trophy. Not if this man can do anything about it. And he's fighting, even though it might be to the death. Leighton Reese, Richie Burnett have come before with darts like that to lift the world title. His dad even jumped up there, even though he was exhausted. 96. Mark, you require 143. This is the one. They did the treble. 97. Right. Simon, you require 106. I think this is Simon Whitlock's last chance. They can't watch the Webster family. Single 14. Leaves double 16 for the save of the century. No. No. Well, oh, look at his dad. 46. Count Berta look. Double top. Match point. Double 10. He's never missed one yet. He hasn't whispered now. Goes down on his knees. Look at that for sportsmanship. Simon Whitlock there applauding. Look at his dad, look at Cynthia. This is what this sport is about. The title goes to Webster, but the entertainment goes to both these players. World class. A wonderful, worthy world champion, Mark Webster, who started the world championship playing in the first match of the tournament, has finished it as world champion. A Welshman on top of the world. The tungsten, the trophy and the tears. It's been fantastic.
Television camera you please welcome this evening's presentation party led by Bob Potter over here, the managing director and proprietor of Bob Potter Leisure and Lakeside Country Club. Accompanied by the Chief Executive of Lakeside, Barbara Leach, and Ollie Croft, Managing Director of BDO Enterprises. <laughs> to receive a cheque for £30,000, the 2008 Lakeside runner-up from Australia, Simon Willow. Ladies and gentlemen, to receive a cheque for £85,000, the championship trophy, the 2008 Lakeside Men's World Professional Darts Champion, Mark Webster. Ladies and gentlemen, he's champion of the world, Mark Webster! <laughs> the pride of Wales, Mark Webster! The entertainment of the week, the, the, in my opinion, worthy winner. I cannot understand how he's won because I predicted him at the beginning. <laughs> but this is it. Bob Potter, Barbara Leach, but the champion. What a big smile on his face. Quite. We had the oldies winning last year. The youngster is back on top once more. World number one. World Cup singles winner. European Cup singles winner and now world champion as well. Enjoy your night, you deserve it.